in the last video we talked about how we can actually perform operations on functions and in fact we did some addition and uh, subtraction of functions so the, the key takeaway from that video is the fact that uh, f we can perform operations and function functions as if they were just numbers okay so whatever we can do with numbers we can also do that with functions so having said that we can actually perform multiplication on functions in fact uh, here we are asked to find f times g of x given f of x equals x minus 2 and g of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. So how do we find f times g of x? And, uh, you know, the, the better question is, what is f times g of x? What is this? Okay, what is this? What do you mean by this? Well, that only means that you're going to multiply the two functions f and g. So in other words, if I may write it, um, write it uh, f times g of x is nothing but f of x times g of x so you're you're taking two functions and then you multiply them together you'll produce a new function called f times g of x okay just like with numbers you multiply two numbers together you produce another number so that's same with functions all right so how do we find f times g of x given that f of x is x minus 2 and g of x is x squared minus 4x plus 4. Let's just substitute, okay? So that is equals, so f of x is x minus 2, so that means we're going to change that into x minus 2, okay? x minus 2, then multiply it with g of x, our g of x is x squared minus 4x plus 4. All right. Now, what we can do at this point is we can actually use the FOIL method. But I don't like to use the FOIL method because it actually doesn't explain why uh, why the answer is the way it is. It's just sort of a shortcut way to multiply things. So what I want to do is I want, I want to use the distributive property or the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute x minus 2 okay, to all terms in the second polynomial. Okay, So I'm going to uh, distribute this x minus 2 to all terms. Okay, So what I'll have is something like this. I'm going to write x, minus, uh, x squared first. So I'll have x squared times x minus 2. So what I did was I distributed x minus 2 to all the terms in here. The first is x squared times x minus 2. Okay, And then I'm going to copy whatever sign you may have in here. So you have minus, then that's 4x times x minus 2, and then plus 4 times x minus 2. Now again, I'm going to use the distributive property of multiplication over addition. So I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, distribute, okay, so I'll have, this would be x squared times x, that's x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x squared, and then minus 4x times minus 2 is positive 8x, and then I'd have plus 4x minus 8. So all, all that's uh, left to do is to simplify. Combine the like terms and then simplify. Okay, so that's equals. I only have one x cubed terms. I'll say that's x cubed. And I have two x squared terms. So that's minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6x squared. And then I have 8x plus 4x. That's 12x. And then minus 8. And that is your final answer, okay? So that's how you multiply two functions.